NRA TV contributor Bill Whittle joins us now. Bill, I have to ask you your response to the riots last night in California. We're breeding a generation of American monsters here, and this is just the beginning of it, Grant. Uh, like any other bell curve kind of a cohort, these are just the beginning of a process that we started 20 years ago with the self-esteem movement. The thing that's um, so hard for most regular Americans to understand is that these are, I keep calling them kids, they're actually not kids anymore. Once you start throwing rocks and setting fires, now you're, now you're delinquents, now you're, now you're just thugs. These thugs, basically, have not been allowed to compete at anything. They can't compete in baseball, they can't compete in football, they can't compete in anything. Everybody gets a trophy, everybody, everybody gets a participation award. No one's allowed to come in first because if you come in first, then the people that come in second and third and so on have their self-esteem damaged. But there is one thing they're allowed to compete on, and all of their natural human competitiveness goes into protesting, which is the only skill they have. And it's the only skill they have, Grant, because it's the only skill they've been taught. They've been taught now for 40 years, get progressively worse. It's like watching a lake dry up and get more and more salty and smaller and smaller. They've been taught that social protest is the only thing that matters in this world, and that's all they're good at. And much worse than no arrest, much, much worse than no arrests was the fact that they canceled the event. So like a kid on a, uh, in, a, in a Walmart having a temper tantrum in the, tile, in the uh, toy aisle and being dragged out of the store by their parents, they've come to realize all across the country that as long as they make enough noise, then they're going to get what they want.